let's continue recording and let's continue the game also got myself some crackers and cheese so i can munch on something because i'm already starving seeming as it's been a few hours but uh yeah resume dude i'm really having a good time with this one we've been on a good streak lately for the guy who hates games we're having a really good uh streak the metro games ended up being a lot of fun mortal kombat's been really fun what, Borderland, replaying Borderlands was a lot of fun. That was the worst shot in the world. I hate this game now. Oh my god. Four misses. Yikes. But at least we got a headshot. Dum dum. I banned him. Joe banned him. Nightbot timed him out. Wow. What's a mortal wombat? Did I... Did I... Slur? I know I tend to like I try I try to make it a point obviously to enunciate properly when I stream. But I've always just like been a mumbly slurry dude. Okay. You know, I just you drop that word immortal, man. Remember Immortal Redneck? That was a really fun game. Are you good? I'm just a dumb dumb. No, but I, I tend to like I, I often um like go go to my streams to either like test quality, like see if everything was like running <clears throat> running properly, look good and whatever. I'm also like, always curious to see which which are the games that cause uh, a lot of like screen blurring, like face cam blurring. Borderlands is probably the worst after Dragon Ball Fighters actually, just because there's always so much. Borderlands two is really bad. Borderlands one was, but um. There we go. 100 headshots, baby. Head on show. Uh, but Borderlands 2, like, my face cam just goes blurry as shit because there's always so much happening. Especially uh, when I was playing with Gage because there's the mech going, me going. I'm the worst. But, uh, oh my god. But, yeah, sometimes I'll just go and just be like, was I, like, speaking properly? Like, can you understand what the hell I'm saying? I also notice I tend to... My biggest problem as far as that goes is um, reading. I tend to like make an effort of not reading too fast and pronouncing shit properly. And then after a while, I'll just like not care anymore. And I'll be like, yeah, yeah, whatever, let's go. And I'm just like, man, if somebody's not watching the screen, there's no way in hell they know what the hell I'm saying. I heard that the Sony CEO is going to get combat video gaming addiction. Yeah. Co Carnage uh, made a good tweet about the video game addiction thing. He's like, why not just literally like any hobby? Literally like just, just consider it anything that you do that's not like real life chores related. Anything that gives you kind of any joy you enjoy doing consider that an addiction. Why does it have to be video games? It's like just because it's an easy target, I guess. But it's a good point. It's like it's always it's always video games that gets the shaft. Ow! Oh my god, dude. I like that they spawned on this side after I left because now I'm getting uh, sandwiched. I'm not one to take cover and play strategically. I usually just go run and gun like an idiot. I kind of have no choice right now. You're dead. Where are they? There they are. Sub bitch. Oh my. What am I even shooting? I guess the hitbox around that tank or whatever is bigger than the actual tank. Because uh, I was shooting the air on that one. Also, I just mentioned Metro before and how I want to start Metro Exodus. Either... Later today or tomorrow? At the, at the rate I'm playing this, I think it'll be tomorrow, but, um... After just uh, working on Plague Tale achievements and the Mortal Kombat achievements, I really gotta go and finish up... ...the achievements in Metro 2033 and Last Light that I want, just to have those out of the way. Like, my mop-up, uh... ...group is, is getting nasty, because I'm always just, like, too lazy to... ...work on achievements these days. And also just, like, don't care. But I don't know, lately I'm just like, man, I really, I'm feeling like motivated to just clean shit up. And also just like, I, I, I cleaned up uh, my hard drive a bit, uninstalled stuff that's 
I'm either not playing or, you know, just eating space for nothing. So I don't, like, need the space. I think I have, like, 500 gigs free, but at the same time, I'm just like, why have... clusters of shit everywhere if it's not serving a purpose? And, like, the Metro games, it's just like... It won't even take that long. I think I finished the collectibles in 2033, so I think it's just a couple of miscellaneous things. Last light though, I think I need to do the collectibles and then I need to do the DLC missions, which suck. I thought you could skip all of them, but it was only one of them, and then the first one I played was really goddamn hard. So I don't know, maybe I won't even bother with those, we'll see. But I think I got like half the collectibles and there's only like 44. So it's not that bad. And there's chapter select and all that. Okay. It's like literal terrorism and everyone assumes video games because it's babysitting for the parents they just plug the kid down in front of the console then do whatever they want while the kid is sucked into that then when they try to assert themselves the kids throw a tantrum and it's the easy way to shut the kid yeah shut the kid up is the video games yeah it's true did you just say dlc missions speaking of dlc missions oh boy what yeah last light has these really awful dlc missions like the first one i played you just do some waves of enemies and it wasn't too bad and then there's just like one guy with a minigun and I was lacing into him with a turret for like five minutes and he wouldn't die and then he just got too close and he would just tear me apart and I was just like cool this is fun I was like why the game was so good why do you have to add this garbage but is what it is ow uh oh there he is Man, there's a lot of them on this mission. What the hell? Again, I can't imagine playing this on Sniper Elite difficulty. But I am missing, like, every shot, so... Doesn't help. Heard your footsteps. Good thing this game has good sound design. Hello? You didn't die? Oh my god. Remember when I was talking about how I can't land shots? Yikes. Straight out of Yikers Island, compadres. The kid feels like they're entitled to video games that they're going to throw a tantrum if they don't get their way and trying to kill themselves if the parents will give them back the video games. Yeah. One of the sound dudes for Celeste that is... IL goal? What's that? For chapter 9 is sub 2 hours. What is IL? Illegitimate licky tongue? Oh, individual level. Individual level goal for chapter 9 is sub 2 hours. So each level is under 2 hours? Like it could be up to 2 hours? What the hell? Because uh, I guess because it's going to be super hard. So you're just going to die and die and die and die. See man, I, ho I hope I could do it legit. But if they let you do assist mode and I have to do it, I'll do it. All the papers were taken or burnt. There had to be something here that could help. That's mental. That's intimidating. It's an old trick, but a good one. Oh yeah. Bingo. This had to be Volt's escape plan. But before I could keep my date with that maniac, I needed to stop the V2 launch. There was nothing here to help me with that. My only chance now was the ministry building across the square. Okay. Really? Mm. Oh, I thought somebody was... Oh. So, world record 506. What the hell is that? Here's to see what that achievement is. World record. Get 506 cumulative sniper kills. Oh, okay. Good thing I'm using the sniper, huh? And before I beat the game and it's like, get 400 pistol kills. And I'm like, okay. They're literally everywhere. It'd be awesome if there were achievements for it, but they have some kind of record of it on your profile. 
What do you mean? Like a best time or something? If it says like best time and then in parentheses no assist. That's not. Then it wouldn't be fair to people that need the assist mode, uh. Because they're like disabled or whatever reason. I don't know. I can see why people don't like the assist mode because they feel like it's, uh, kind of like strips away the pride in doing it. But at the same time, it's just like. The reasons for them implementing it is, is very good. In my opinion. Somebody sees me, but I don't know where they are. I'm not sure if there are any added, I'll, it'll just be beating it, yeah. Or maybe like get all the strawberries in chapter 9 or something like that. I would assume. Either way, I'm gonna play it because Celeste is incredible. I love that game. I just had somebody comment on my YouTube video the other day saying it was a very entertaining watch, and I was like, sweet! I, uh, I'm not gonna go back and watch it myself, but glad to know people enjoyed it. Where the fuck am I going? Don't I have to- yeah, I have to cross the street to the square, right? Am I in the right... Yeah, I guess I'm in the right area. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, shit. The map showed all the Perfect time, baby. around Berlin. Only one was still operational, and in Russian-occupied territory. That had to be the place. Hmm. Oh, you could just press left bumper instead of both triggers. Oh. I 100% thought this whole time that you have to press both triggers. Where is he? I wonder what the first game to do that was. You see the, the light reflect off their scope. <clears throat> first one I can think of is Battlefield 3. That's uh, as far as I remember, like, noticing it. But it's such a good mechanic, in my opinion. It's, a, it's so useful. Cool, I'm glad that we have this, because yikes. I want to say they mentioned it one of strawberries, then again, it wasn't originally going to have a story. So yeah, you never know. Well, whatever they decide to do, it looks like they've been really taking their time and uh, doing it with care and making sure it's done properly. I need to get the fuck out of here. I am going to get murdered. So... It's good to know that it's not being half-assed. Especially a game that good, it deserves to, uh... ...be done right. The, was the bullet just, like, spinning all wonky? Where's this other one? Oh, wow. That is a very good vantage spot, my friend, but unfortunately... ...you're dead. Oh, there it is. Perfect. I zoomed in right at the perfect spot. It must be really tough to animate. Animate that. You have to account for so many variables, man. Like, when you think of it, you gotta account for your the player's placement, the enemy placement, the angle of the shot, the distance of the sh well, I guess the distance doesn't really matter for that. 
And, the, and the, the fact that there's so many variations is just crazy. It's like in Mortal Kombat, you think every single fatal blow, you gotta account for... Any of the 26 fighters fighting any of the 26 fighters with the stage as a background. It's nuts. Anything like that where there's like multiple variations, like to that extent, I'm always like, man, that's... Insane. And the work must both be like super rewarding, but also a real pain in the ass. I can't see a shine anywhere. I don't see any bullet streak either. Fuck it. I have to get there? Ow. Oh, I guess I could just hop out this window. Oh, there we go. Yeah, fucked up, brother. Fiddle bong bong. There's another one. We're not safe yet. We're not out of the woods yet. Ow. Shit, I lost it. Uh oh. Sprint! Schnell, schnell! Balance between characters is the only thing they have to get right. I mean, not the only thing, but it's definitely very important. And it's never done perfectly. Because it can't be. Unless every single character has every single trait identical, time. it's just visual differences, you can never position to take out that rocket. perfectly balance something. That would be hard enough. But to make matters worse, only a full fuel tank would generate a big enough explosion to burn off all traces of the tub and payload. I only had a small window between fueling and launch. It's um It's actually pretty funny in in Mortal Kombat 11 Devora Or actually in just in in Mortal Kombat X and 11 she like kills a bunch of characters and whatever Whoops Whoops, where's it? Give me my gun back. Oh no. Where's my gun? Where the hell's my gun? That's fine. Kill me so I could start with my sniper. Um, yeah, Devora, like. Whoa. Oh yeah, restart. Uh, Devora kills all these, like, main characters, whatever. She's, like, a beast. And in 11, she's by far the worst character in the game. And uh, same with like Kotal Khan and Shao Khan. They're like the big heavy dudes and like, you know, leaders and whatnot. And uh, they're two of the other worst characters in the game. But, I mean, I guess it's always like that, right? You have like. You could have in Smash Bros. like a, a Pichu just decimating a cloud and you're like, okay, calm down. Are you serious right now? Holy shit. Look, I, dude, I have bullets coming from every angle right now. Never mind, it's just this guy with his turret. That explains it. Ugh. No level design, no set pieces for what, balancing characters? Uh, Depends on what kind of game it is. Something like Smash Bros. The stages highly affect characters. Mortal Kombat, uh, stages don't really affect the fights as far as I know. I don't know if there's some stages that are wider than others. That could affect, uh... That could affect something like a, um, a zoner would benefit from a lar uh, wider stage. Compared to somebody who relies on throws. What the fuck? It, I had the option, then it disappeared.
but something like Smash Bros. It, uh, that's a lot more important. Because you have like, uh, let's say, Final final f Destination, for example, um, gives an advantage to projectile users because you don't have like an escape. Okay, well, I should have maybe gone out of this hole. That was dumb. Oh, I got a piece of gold. Dude, 7 out of 100, we're like 20 missions in. What a loser. That literally looked like on a quick glance, like somebody just had a plunger on their desk. That's funny. Okay. Let's see, where am I going? I'm going up here. <clears throat> also, Chris, I don't know if you were watching uh, my stream of Mortal Kombat when I was, like, exploring the crypt for a while. Like, I wanted to just go in for... You know, five minutes, and I ended up spending like two hours in there, just roaming around and unlocking stuff and whatever. But um, I'm assuming he's there. Nope. Oh, I was sort of close. Got him. But um, it was cool because you notice that like some of the areas that you fight in are in the crypt. It's just like for, uh, with a different camera angle, you know. Like, you can even go to Devorda's stage. You just, like, go deep underground and it's just, like, bugs and shit everywhere. I was like, what the hell? And, like, I didn't notice there's, a, a, like, a crypt level where you see, like, Goro just, uh... On his throne. Like, decomposed Goro. I was like, what the fuck? Super, super cool. Okay. Uh, yoink. Crypt seems really cool, actually, but I realize I'm just not a fan of typical fighting games. Oh, me neither. At all. That's why I'm surprised I'm so into it. But I, I really like Mortal Kombat X, so I'm not surprised. But uh, those and Dragon Ball Fighters are the only ones that have really, really gripped me. Usually I don't like fighters nor play them. Whoa! Dude, let's get that one bullet back. Where am I going? Where is this prick? Alright, I guess we gotta go down there, so it means we came from the top. That would make sense. Yep. Okay. Beautiful visuals. Yeah, that game's so dope. But now I'm just down to grinding a lot for the completion, basically. A lot of grinding. Which sucks, but at least it's easy. And one thing that like makes it easier, but also makes it seem very pointless, is you could let the AI do a lot of the work for you. Like, I already have, but yeah, now I need a lot of like money and hearts. Which you could get by grinding towers, so... Um, I think I'm literally just gonna... Like, let's say tonight, when I'm uploading this to YouTube and doing the thumbnails and all that, I'm just going to, um... You know, let them run some towers for me while I'm busy. And make progress while I don't have time to make progress. It's kinda... Like I said, it's kinda dumb, because you're just like, well, what's the point of the grind? If I don't even have to do it. But it is what it is. Oh, baby. Kablamo. What a way to go, man. What a way to go. Oh, 
Why can't I shoot through that piece of wood? Oh, there's so many of them. Also, this game <laughs> is performing just as well as I thought. Stream-wise. Nobody gives a shit. Whoa! Fuck! I was surprised though. Mortal Kombat did really well. I should probably stream it again. That guy and he didn't do the stealth kill. Okay. Injustice bored me because of that exact reason. It seems just turned into a pointless grind and I didn't particularly like the game in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't even like it, then obviously that's kind of kind of garbo. Looks like a little heart. He loves me. With his whole brain. Yikes. Yeah, I have to do, um, get this, Chris. I have to do 100 brutalities. So, like, there's a bunch of moves you could do that, but I basically would just have to do one on one against, like, a very easy AI or a dummy controller to make it uh, the fastest possible. But that's also the best way to get hearts, which is a currency that gets you the best chests. Like they always need, they need 100 or 250 hearts to open those chests and you get five from a brutality. So that grind is nasty, considering you need to do 50 brutalities for one chest. Um, then the, yeah, the thing that sucks is like, so now the, Okay, so there's that, and then I have to uh, pay a certain amount of respect in King of the Hill. So that, it's like you literally just watch. So King of the Hill works exactly like a normal King of the Hill. It's just like, let's say you're 10 players or whatever. So there's like a match, and then whoever wins stays up, and then the next person challenges them and whatever. But when you're watching the matches, at the end of the game, you can pay respect with coins, and it goes up to like 10. Uh, and the achievement is for dropping a hundred and paying respect. So you could literally just like watch other people play and just drop 10, 10 times. So again, it's time consuming, and, but it's not hard. Oh, he actually got killed. Okay. And that's like, whatever. I mean, it's just their way of, I guess, trying to make you actually look around and try the modes and shit. And... I have to open 200 chests in the crypt though, that's a yikes, because it's all hearts or money. This sucks. There's just too many of them. And then, uh, but the... The real motherfucker... Is, yeah, you need, you need to get five intros and victory poses or whatever. And they're insanely rare, the best way to do them is to um, do like a specific kind of tower where you got to do like three or five with the same character to get it and then you're like guaranteed but I think you have to pay to play the towers so that's where that problem is like I'll have to grind normal towers to be able to afford the paid towers to grind those to get animations so that's kind of whack but Again, whatever. I think even those I could do with the AI. Pay to play them, Lamau. What bullshit, man? Yeah. I think it's because you get guaranteed and better rewards. That's the point, but it's still, it's just like, fuck off. But like Maka was saying, it's like an incredible game that's got a incredibly 2019 bullshit shell, unfortunately.
And I actually bought a microtransaction, sorta. It's just like, um, I guess every day there's new items that rotate that you could um, buy with like time crystals, which is a currency that you could buy with real money or you could just earn it. So in my like 15, 20 hours with the game, I've, I've gotten like 1500. And I think it was like 750. I was able to get one of Scorpion's uh, Sub-Zero's intros. So I was like, well, I know how much the grind is and I have like the currency on me. Fuck it. What else am I going to spend it on? I could spin on skins and shit, but... That probably saved me quite a bit of grind, so I was like, okay. I guess tomorrow I'll check again, see if I could afford one more thing. So yeah, I'm at like 820 of the thousand or so. 820, 830. And not very long, but yeah, it's gonna take a while. That being said, it's such a good game. That it's all good. I want to die. They always sneak up on me. I spend way too much time trying to make sure that they can't sneak up on me, and then they do, and I'm just like demolished. Why are there so fucking many though? Like, I'm so happy that it shows the easiest difficulty. Because with how much trouble I'm having landing shots for some reason... I would lose my goddamn mind on anything harder. But for now, I'm watching the Raptors try to get to the NBA fight. Oh, one second. Uh, watching the Raptors try to get to the NBA Finals for the first time ever, where they will likely be swept by Joe's Golden State Warriors. Good luck with the snip snips. Thanks, man. Good luck with the, uh, the dribbles. And be bibbles dribbles. I didn't realize it was going to be their first time ever. Holy shit. Now I have to get there without getting killed. What the fuck? Hello? Did his gun? Did I just shoot his gun so hard to change it to another gun? Remastered, by the way. Oh, did I fail? I think I failed because they launched it. Right, I had to go and disactivate it. But or did you allowed it to launch? He gave me two seconds. Was I supposed to run to the middle and deactivate it? Defend your position while the rocket fuels. Oh, am I, I'm supposed to shoot the rocket, I guess, while when it's full of fuel? Tell me... Okay. I mean, it's gonna level everything. Does my character die in the process? Dude, that's wild. Oh yeah, we still need to get Wolf. Wolf. Of course. <laughs> Alright, continue. Feared Sniper, 30 gamer score. Wolf was at the Tiergarten airstrip. 1845 hours. I didn't have much time. Stopping Wolf meant heading straight back into the heart of Berlin. With most of the city in ruins, the only location for the shot was right back where I started. I needed to get to the Brandenburg Gate. The city was on fire, the battle raging, like a vision of hell. And somewhere, in the middle of that firestorm, that bastard was gonna get in a plane and fly to safety, taking all the secrets of the rocket program to Moscow. Unless I could stop him. To think Sylvester Stallone kept the turtles from the first Rocky and they are now 44 years old. That's random, but that's awesome. I assume that taking care of them is probably pretty easy, right? You just gotta keep the tank clean. I wonder what, I, I wonder what turtles eat. Do you just like feed them lettuce? 
I should do some stealth kills because there's an achievement for 25, but I also need more rifle kills, right? So this is one of those games where I'll probably um I don't know if I'll replay everything to get collectibles and shit. Maybe. But um probably just like low checkpoints over and over to get stealth kills and stuff like that. That ass? That ass? Oh, Oh, the turtles eat that ass? Amazing. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh... They're gluteus of wars? Okay. They prefer to dine on gluteus maximus. A wild turtle can eat up to four times its body weight in gluteus maximus. Turtles are players. Fuck. Dude, I wish there was a breed of tortoise that was turquoise. And it was called like the turquoise turquoise. Got him. That was super sloppy. There was. That was a sloppy joke kill right there, but, you know. Plow! Hello, friend! Goodbye, friend! You're dead. Huh. What, uh, what have you been playing, Hicks? What you up to today, Dowk? Oh, hello, sir. How dare you. Boy, there are a lot of people... I heard him, but I don't see him. Por que? Por que? Let's just go for it and probably pay the ultimate price in a second. Oh, is this a collect? Yeah. Three out of thirty-seven. Yo, uh, shout out to Maca for having a collectible guide because I. Will definitely need it if I decide to actually go for the collect. Well, let's, let's see what they're worth gamer score wise out of curiosity. Um. Oh, a hundred enemies with explosives. Yikes! Snipe a hundred moving targets. Find and snipe all the hidden. Okay, so that's fifty. And twenty-five. Twenty-five gamer score for the hundred gold bars. Oof. That's a hundred, yeah. Kill everyone in the convoy from ground level except for Keitel. Fuck off. Made through the tower to the winch room without being spotted. As a spotter in Overwatch, tag 50 enemies. Oh, is that... Is there multiplayer? Ow. Or is it like... A horde thing? Fuck me. Just been watching some sports today, been chilling. Cool, cool. That was terrible garbage. That was much better. It's freaking out, dude. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. That's almost a butt shot, dude. I wonder, it said to get the kill a hundred. Or snipe a hundred moving targets. I wonder just like how few I have. Also, I've like never used mines. I never use grenades. Yikes. But a lot of these don't seem like you're supposed to play one playthrough, obviously. Hmm. 
I, I assume that there's chapter select, by the way. Hopefully it tells you what collectibles you have and what you've missed and shit. I don't know, 75 gamer score, do I want to play literally the whole game over? Not really. I'm enjoying it, but not that much enjoying it. What is it? There's a guy in the window, okay. Is there a guy right here? No, I literally don't know where they are. Oh, baby. Hello. I don't- where am I getting shot from? If you enjoy this all the way through, you plan on playing Sniper Elite 3 and 4? I don't see why not. Is 3 also on Game Pass? I know 4 is, but I don't know about 3. But, uh, yeah, probably. But VR roller coasters are puke. There's something I'll never try again. I believe you. I remember watching, um, Renee stream one of those. Her, uh, she had her mom playing it, and I was just like, nope. I also remember seeing a really cute video as a guy had his little daughter like on his lap but like in a in a um, like a laundry basket and then had like a roller coaster thing playing on TV and then he would be like bumping her up and down uh, with his thighs That's really funny seeing her like freak out and she was having an absolute blast About to play Vader Immortal? Oh yeah, Death Vader? I've heard a lot about him. This feels like it could be the last mission. Oh. Uh. Just in the nick of time, baby. Legendary Sniper. Wolf did not escape. Okay then. Maybe he lived. ended at 8.23 the next morning, May 2nd, 1945, when Commander General Weidling submitted the surrender of German forces to General Chukov of the Red Army. Within a few days, the war ended, but already a new war was beginning, the Cold War, and I was its first soldier. Hmm. Okay, so that took me three and a half, four hours. Huh. That was a lot of fun. We'll let the, uh, the credits roll out. They worked hard, man. Gotta say, the guy who gave you Mortal Kombat 11 and this is a real homie, G fucker G. Agreed. I must have said thank you like 15 times. Super, super cool and generous of them. And uh, it's very much appreciated. 
And the timing couldn't be better, considering how uh, Baroque I am these days. Now you mentioned it, just one thing too. Where I said like sometimes I watch streams, some of my streams to see if I'm like enunciating well and whatever. One thing too is I check if I'm if it shows enough that how how thankful I am for shit. Like when somebody subs, I I hope that I'm not like doesn't come off as like oh thanks you sub cool whatever. I try to like show that I appreciate it, but at the same time keep the stream moving and not just sit there like, oh my god, thank you for four minutes. Because I don't like that. And you're actually enjoying the games too, right? Yeah, this was a this was a blast. A couple of times there I was just like, alright man, this is getting annoying because I was just like, there are too many enemies, but I mean that's on me. It's just my accuracy is terrible in this game for some reason so um obviously like if i'm missing all my shots and the enemies are just pushing in so that's just logical but this was a lot of fun i really really liked it um have you played the others hicks actually or here i'm gonna check uh how long to beat i'm curious to see uh the time difference in them so this is yeah two. Oh, there's there is DLC in this. Okay, the New Dwarf Outpost DLC. Uh, assassinate the Führer DLC. So I assume that, that that's that random shit. The L'Enfer Canal DLC, Saint Pierre DLC. Okay, so that's probably the the like Overwatch stuff and whatever. But it says it says for the main story. That it's seven hours. So I assume that's if you're playing on like normal. And then completionist is 28 and a half. I think TA said 15 to 20. But yeah, if I look Sniper Elite 3 says nine hours for the main story, and then Sniper Elite 4 is 10 and a half. So probably be like six. If I'm playing on the easiest difficulty, which I definitely am gonna do. Uh because as we as we've seen, I need it. I'm better than you in this game? Wow, you're cool. Congratulations. I don't think 4 is that long, can't remember 3 much. Alright, I, I know um, 4 is on Game Pass, but I don't, don't know about 3. I'll check. Because, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see why not, uh, for, like, streaming them. Because that was a lot of fun. And it's not too long, so why not, right? But, uh, like I said, tomorrow we're going to start Metro Exodus, or... Yeah, for some reason I don't feel like starting it today. I might take a crack at some Descenders or some Mortal Kombat. Even at that, Mortal Kombat, like, I don't know if there's... Anything I could... I guess I could work on Towers. I could do that. I think I'm going to do a Descenders run first. I just have, I just want to play it for some reason, even though I'm like totally over that game. I want to try that uh, that Fire Node run on Career Plus, and at the same time try to get 50,000 rep in one run uh, to take a crack at the Whoopee Cushion. You know, and I'm cu I'm curious. Okay, it didn't show anything else, it was just that. Okay, continue. I'm curious with the whoopee cushion thing, like, it seems like it's an achievement, not a challenge, but it doesn't so show zero gamer score, it just has like a dash, which usually refers to a challenge, no? I guess I could check somebody on TA who has it, or nobody on TA does have it. Anyways, uh, so there you go, 320 gamer scores, not bad at all. Uh, I guess what I'll do is I'm going to remove that from blah, 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 stream and drop it in mop up if I decide to uh, 
work on some achievements, but it seems like they'd be very, very uh, grindy. Sounds like a challenge, to be honest. What does the Descenders run? Or what? Anyways, uh, let me kill the local recording. That's going to be it for this game. I hope you enjoyed if you're still here. Uh, yeah.